think it's still in the House of Lords, but it had a public consultation. But, but you know, this process is public, so and, and, and it's also I'm sensitive. So by the time that people will listen to us, maybe it will be already forward. And what is really important and what I, I really appreciate is that I see that users are not adding up that uh, uh, concerned uh, um, stakeholders like banks are already informing their clients of this possibility and, and those who want to, to be, you know, early adopters are, are already thinking about using that. Of course, once uh, this is done, there will be the need to adjust the existing trade practices. There will be the need to adjust even the contractual frameworks. But then with this, you know, the train has left the station. What did you just say? I only asked because it just sounds like real familiar. About cryptocurrency as a form of currency. Well, uh, I think the train's already left the station in terms of. So I repeat, what did you just say? The train has left the station. That's what I thought. We on location. I remember way back. You ain't have no swag. You did a little research. Now you got a moon bag. Now you got a new walk. Now you got new swag. You did a little research. Now you got a moon bag. Well, let me show you what the moon bag's like. You take them gains when it gets that high. I mean, the market may dip for a little bit. That's when I hurry up and buy. But me, I just want to rub them thighs. I like my oatmeal chunky. But that that's all in it. Shit, you're talking about the blockchain monkeys. It's a solo nation. Now, when it comes to crypto, we're talking about cold storage. Get your crypto off the exchange and into a cold storage wallet to where only you have access, okay? Decent wallet link in the description. Now, what is going on, Blockchain Monkeys? Eager here, and I want to thank you for coming to my jungle. And first of all, I'm no financial advisor whatsoever, nor am I professional in blockchain technology. But there is one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's give my opinion. So today, we're going to go in on XRP and Ripple. Let's go. But before we get to it, I'm going to need you to rub them hands together. Ripple vigorously and slide down Twitter. Coming in hot, ladies and gentlemen, we have Crypto Hawk exposed. How is this tiny crypto linked to these massive banks? Take a listen. Here we go, 2014. Here, well, actually, let's say 15. But uh, 14, 15, same thing, right? You got this particular crypto company linked up with this company. This is how they got liquidity, one of the ways, okay? They had to make a lot of business arrangements with smaller little companies that would use, that would be act as kind of like bridges to other ones. So here we have, oh, damn. When I tell you Ripple has been laying pipe, oh my goodness. This major bank, notice how everything's Germany. Everything brand new with Ripple is like German, but I can't mention that bank's name. <laughs> and again, we're talking, what's the date here? 2015. They already had an association with that bank. That, that's very interesting. And the person, here's the founders. You got this person who used to work for who? Oh, that's interesting. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, it just takes a little bit of research. We on location. I remember way back. You ain't have no swag. You did a little research. Now you got a moon bag. Now you and this coming in hot from X's in my future dot patients. Current state of play for legal reform. We have MLETR. And for those who do not know what this means, we are talking about the model law on electronic transferable records by UNSA trial aims to enable the legal use of electronic transferable records that are functionally equivalent to transferable documents or instruments. Transferable documents or instruments typically include bills of lading, bills of exchange, promissory notes, and more. And he has here the US, UK, and Germany all being aligned in 2023, going a lot faster than I thought, especially with the US. Take a look here. We're gonna go right to this document, right to the end, so we can see exactly what they're doing. Technology, new technology, correctly implemented and governed, can now in principle digitalize uniqueness, property and route risk exchange, and this without the major exchange or risk of unpermitted exposure of commercially or regulatory sensitive data 
But industry has shown itself to be reluctant and move quickly to adopt such technology. And meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, you are getting nothing but hatred towards the cryptocurrency space, and they are underneath you building the plumbing. With the passage of this bill and the continued support of government and in seeing into the practical effects its provisions, the UK would have all the ingredients necessary, not just to deliver on the terms of the bill itself, but to put itself at the forefront of development of the transformation we need in supply chains and trade if we are to make them the secure, transparent, and accountable processes that are prerequisite of our future sustainable economic international relations. Is this the reason that you're dragging your feet? Ladies and gentlemen, we have here Luca Castellani, legal officer, unsent trial secretariat. Take a listen to him. But uh, under US law, Electronic transfer records can be issued since some, some time. But in certain areas, like where house receipts were very broadly used, but in other areas, like bills of lading, were not. There was a lot of conditions here, and uh, the fulfillment of each of them is necessary but not sufficient. So let's look at the uh, this enactment in English law as another milestone towards the final goal. But let's also keep the eyes open to see what else is needed. Sure, thank you very much. And, and I guess, you know, going wider afield, Luca, how can governments and policymakers continue to support this kind of trade digitalization? First of all, of course, we, we, we should uh, adopt the enabling law. Uh, secondly, we should take care of, of regulation, as I said before. Here, uh, we can learn something from the European Union. There's two pieces of uh, European uh, legislation that are important for uh, Molita implementation. One is EIDAS, because EIDAS uh, gives a, a common framework and also one which uh, operates uh, in the whole EU automatically for uh, trusted services, including electronic signatures, which means that we, we have a, a way there to um, validate data quality across borders. So what can we in the blockchain and crypto space learn from someone who has been in this space for, or been in the financial services space for as long as you have, uh, that and we can maybe do a little differently? I, you know, in the end, this will be regulated. This will be regulated. It's frustrating. There's not clarity. It's always hard to, you know, if you're if you're playing a game and you don't know what the rules are, that that can be difficult. But I think we have to, you know, work constructively with the regulators um, because it's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, you think these people do not know what's coming? Look at Danielle Dixon's face. It's basically saying all we have to do is wait. Right, because it's going to be the core to financial services. Are you getting this? Right here, we have Jenny Johnson is president and chief executive officer of Franklin Templeton in a career Franklin Templeton spanning over 30 years. Which means there's an acceleration phase and this is where you want to get in. You don't want to get in when it's obvious to everybody because this is not financial advice whatsoever. It's just pure entertainment. Let's go. And if you think your voice isn't heard, you might want to think again. Coming in hot from Crypto Airy, former SEC senior trial counsel, Nick Morgan, weighs in on Ripple. You know, who filed and just based in. Uh, Ripple, Library, the Walking Insider Trading case, uh, we just filed one in support of the basis writ. The Ripple case is a good example, by the way, you were saying, you know, what can individual uh, participants in this space do? It's not easy to do this, but in the Ripple case, I think it's been very effective that holders of the XRP token have tried to have their voice heard in that case. Because in every SEC case, you've got the SEC that purports to be looking out for investors' interests, and you've got the defendants who the SEC has accused of doing something wrong. What you don't have is actual representation by the investors. And in fact, the SEC discourages that and tries to keep people out of those cases 
And there are ways to get your voice heard in those cases. It's not uh, super easy, but that's also not impossible. So I would encourage people, if they are involved in uh, the tokens that are issued in a particular case, to look for a way to have the judge hear their voice directly. And I think that social media is a big thing too. I think that regulators are looking at people's tweets and trying to understand the general community. So I would say that like the SEC comment letters and speaking up on social media, things that are important to um, people is looked at. How meaningful is this Ripple decision, do you think, for the industry? Any of you can answer it. Well, I'll say, having seen how the SEC treats uh, losses in other areas, the SEC will immediately say, well, that's limited to the facts in that case. So it's a one-off, has no relevance whatsoever. The rest of the world will have a different view, and obviously, I think it, 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 I mean, the judge will, uh, because it's on summary judgment. Which it's obvious, bruh. And it's coming in hot from Emily. Not financial advice whatsoever. Expect to see five to six digits in the near future. It can't be dirt cheap. And it's coming in hot from Edo Farina. XRP, 755 million in four seconds. XRP and ODL to revolutionize the financial system. While the cryptocurrency community may have its doubt over Ripple's XRP cryptocurrency, banks seem to be enjoying its perks. A reported 755 million worth of XRP was transferred in four seconds. And guess how much it costs? One penny. Cause it's the standard in this bitch. XRP. I went to YouTube University, and now they mocking me with no degree. We say about a swift, keep it walking. We smoking elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. You don't have to be rich to be taking uh, advantage of this. This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. Blockchain, blockchain. We talking about an intellectual choo choo train. It's the OT up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain. Blockchain.